We now know that Dr. Oz will be facing off against John Fetterman in Pennsylvania's Senate race this November, and I was a little bit worried at first, not necessarily because I think that Dr. Oz is a good candidate. In fact, I think he's a terrible candidate, but the problem is that he has a lot of name recognition. This is a celebrity who's had a television show for years, and name recognition goes a really long way in U.S. politics. But John Fetterman just released his first general election campaign ad today, and most of my fears have faded away because John Fetterman is going to be running a very solid campaign if this is any indication of what's to come. Take a look. Are you good? People have been trying to label me my entire life. I do not look like a typical politician. I don't even look like a typical person. John Fetterman knows Pennsylvania through and through. From York, played football in Reading. Raising his family in Braddock, a steel town. He's looked different and been different his entire life. As mayor, Fetterman helped rebuild his town. As lieutenant governor, he reformed the office. Now the big guy is running for Senate to take on Washington. This is a race for the future of every community across Pennsylvania. For every small town or person that's felt left behind. For every job left and factory closed. For every person that works hard but can't get ahead as costs keep rising. Those decisions were made for us by people that don't know us. And that's exactly who we're running against. Pennsylvania is our home and it's worth fighting for. I'm John Fetterman and I approve this message. Okay, Dr. Oz should be worried. That should horrify Dr. Oz. He should see that and shit himself. Because how do you, a celebrity, a rich person who's worth tens of millions of dollars compete with that authenticity, with that blue collar appeal, with that originality. I mean, John Fetterman is speaking about how he's different. You know, he's not like everyone else, but at the same time, even though he's unique and doesn't look like a politician, he shares uh, the struggle or shared the struggle of people in the state of Pennsylvania. I mean, this is an incredible ad. And I wish that more Democrats would do what John Fetterman is doing, but the problem is that a lot of them lack authenticity. A lot of them were kind of privileged and didn't have that experience. So that's why John Fetterman can relate with normal people. And what I am anticipating now is that Dr. Oz will try to copy John Fetterman. He's going to run a different campaign now. He'll make that general election pivot and pretend to be this anti-establishment, you know, normal blue collar guy. But the problem is there is an authenticity gap between John Fetterman and Dr. Oz. John Fetterman seems like a normal human being, whereas Dr. Oz seems like a phony. I mean, you've all seen it by now, but take a look at one of the last ads that he ran in the uh, GOP primary. My father taught me how to handle my first gun. I taught my son Oliver how to do the same. I've been shooting and hunting my whole life. So when people say I won't support guns, they're dead wrong. Boom! Other conservatives know that I'm strong on the Second Amendment. Ted Nugent, Rick Perry, President Trump. But our Second Amendment is not just about hunting. It's about our constitutional right to protect ourselves from intruders or an overly intrusive government. So as your next U.S. Senator, I will fight for our constitutional rights. How authentic. I mean, it feels like that's a parody ad. And if I were a GOP voter... I would see that and be insulted because he's very clearly trying to pander to you. If you're a Republican in the state of Pennsylvania, you should feel insulted that he thinks you're that unintelligent. But maybe you are because you voted for him. So, I mean, it's just how, how are you supposed to, you know, convince people that you care when you're a celebrity? You're as out of touch as you possibly can be in this country. Now, what makes John Fetterman's ad, I think, more powerful, or I should say what will make it more powerful, is where he's choosing to broadcast it. Because we all know that um, individuals like Sean Hannity, they're very invested in this race, being friends with Dr. Oz. He helped Dr. Oz win the GOP primary, and unquestionably, he will try to help Dr. Oz win the general election so he can become a senator. So they're going to be attacking John Fetterman relentlessly, comparing him to you know Bernie Sanders because he endorsed Bernie in 2016, calling him a crazy socialist. This is what Connor Lamb did against him in the Democratic Party primary. So the attacks will come from Fox News. So what is John Fetterman doing to counter that? Well, he's going to place this ad 
right on Fox News. As Catherine Fung of Newsweek explains, John Fetterman, Pennsylvania's Democratic Senate candidate and a well-known ally of Bernie Sanders, is turning to Fox News to appeal to voters in the upcoming general election, airing two of his first TV ads against Trump-backed GOP candidate Mehmet Oz on the conservative network. The Fetterman campaign purchased two spots on Fox News in the Pittsburgh, Scranton, and Johnson markets that will run from Tuesday through June 14th, according to Politico. A campaign spokesperson said Fetterman's team has spent $250,000 for the week-long ads, adding that we plan to re-up the bi-weekly as the GOP attacks keep coming. Other Democrats need to take note, because when you see that the attacks are going to come from Fox News, what you do is you buy ads during these shows that will inevitably be attacking you and you debunk the myths that they're spreading. It's it's a brilliant strategy, and I get why some people might be against this, because it feels gross to give Fox News money. But, folks, this is an election, and you want the person who's the better candidate to win. So if that means advertising on Fox News and going where most eyeballs are going to be, that's what you've got to do. So I think that buying ads in these particular markets in Pennsylvania is brilliant, because we know the attacks will be ongoing, and we know that Dr. Oz already has... An advantage because of name recognition. But if John Fetterman can counter that and counter the attacks, it increases his chances. And these ads are incredible. It should appeal to even some of Fox News' viewers, assuming that their brain hasn't completely rotted by watching too much Fox News. But look, it's not like John Fetterman is the best candidate ever, right? There's areas where I have my disagreements with him. You know, I don't like his stance on Israel, Palestine, or fracking. But even with these things that I disagree with, if he were to be elected, he'd be one of the most progressive senators in the country. And that's not saying much because I get that the bar is really low, but it's still better than most of the people already in the Senate. And he'll certainly be better than Dr. Oz, who's just going to go along with the GOP's agenda. I don't think he really has any authentic beliefs or he even has a core political ideology he's doing this because he's an opportunist and maybe he's just bored being a tv doctor i'm not necessarily sure but either way it's really important that john fetterman does everything he can and i think that so far he's off to a really great start the one thing that worries me is that you know currently if you look at generic polls just republican versus democrat Republicans have a massive leg up, and a lot of this stems from Biden's unpopularity. You know, it kind of trickles down. If the president is unpopular, then that usually affects the House and the Senate. So I hope that that doesn't necessarily hurt Fetterman. It's hard to say, but either way, right now, at least at the beginning of the general election campaign, he's doing everything that he should be doing. And this should absolutely scare the shit out of Dr. Oz. I'd be afraid if I were him. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. I'm going to come. Do not come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. 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 come.